So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to set the base timing or initial timing on a small block Chevrolet. So this 350 is sitting in a 1973 uh, Chevy Monte Carlo. It is original um, and basically unmodified. So I'm going to go through the process to set the initial timing. Tools wise, you need a wrench to loosen the, the hold down for the distributor cap. Uh, it's a 9 16 nut that's under under the vacuum advanced, let me, up there, underneath. Um, it You can get in there with a straight wrench, but they do sell wrenches like this that make accessing the bolt much easier, okay? So I've loosened it. And the idea to loose, once it's loose, you should be able to rock the distributor back and forth, okay? And that's how you're gonna adjust your timing. The other piece that needs to happen is your vacuum advance here. So there's this little vacuum diaphragm that's in this little casing uh, that changes the timing as the vacuum changes while the engine's running. So you need to disconnect this. So you could either just pop it off here and then plug this line because you don't want a vacuum leak on the engine. But I'm going to pop it off at the carburetor side where that line goes to the carburetor. And then, so you can see the little port here, and then I'm gonna cap the port so there is no vacuum leak, so the engine runs correctly, okay? So the vacuum advance is disconnected. The last thing you need to do is get your timing light hooked up. So timing lights, they, they come in different types. Um, some have like an indicator on the back like this, like a dial, so, if you run it at zero, it'll basically show you the actual timing that, that's on your timing marks on the engine. Um, the specs for this, the factory specs for this car were to run eight degrees um, of advance. So if I set the, the light to eight, when I'm going on the timing marks on the block, um, it should be zero. So I could either put it at zero and find the eight mark on the block or put it at eight, right? And when I'm shooting the, the harmonic balancer, I wanna see the zero mark, okay? And then from a connection point of view, it's pretty simple, and this is pretty standard fare. This is a, a pickup. So this has to go on the number one spark plug wire, which on a small block Chevrolet is driver side front, okay? So this just clips onto the wire which I will do now. So that is the number one wire and reaching down one handed and I am now on it, okay. So it'll pick up the, uh, the pulse that is going through that wire. The last connection for the timing light is the battery. So I have these pads to protect, okay. So same thing, negative goes to negative, positive goes to positive and then you plug the base into the light. So with the wires connected, we're just gonna start the car up, and then I'm gonna take the gun to this side and shoot it at the little point, try to find the pointer. So here's what that timing marker and like the pointer are look like on the block. So you can see the little pointer has numbers on it, and at the top portion, it actually says before, indicating those are the degrees before top dead center. And the bottom half of it, where kind of like where the shadow is, says after. So if you look, that second peak is the eight. And the spec for this is eight degrees before top dead center. So if I have my timing gun set to zero, the little timing mark should line up with that second peak where the eight is. And the timing mark is that notch that you also see right there um, in the harmonic balancer. So I'll, I'll put a little pointer in the video to show that. So again, if I have my gun set to zero, that little mark should line up with the eight. If I set my gun to eight, that little mark should line up with the zero on the pointer down, down below there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
and that was really the process. So basically you move the distributor back and forth to get the mark to line up with the value you want. So this particular vehicle, I did eight degrees before top dead center. Once it's lined up, you take the wrench and you tighten up that bolt that holds the distributor cap or distributor where it's supposed to be. What you'll notice what I did was I then double check because while you're tightening that nut, um, you can cause the distributor to move. And that's exactly what happened when I did it. That last twist I did, the distributor moved a little bit and the value went from eight to uh, 10. And I didn't want 10. So then I loosened it up again and moved it a little bit back and tightened it up. And once it was nice and snug, I did a final check. It was where I wanted, shut the car off, reconnected the vacuum line to the carburetor, and we are done. So fairly simple. You do need a specialized tool in that you need the timing light. I have the specialized wrench just because on Chevrolet's, the distributor cap and distributor is behind the engine near the firewall. So it's kind of a, a reach. Fords have it in the front, much easier to, to adjust with just like a straight wrench. But that's how you set timing. Very simple. If you have any uh, questions, leave a comment below. Um, I'll leave a link to a timing wrench like that below. Um, otherwise, if you found this useful, click like and uh, please subscribe to this channel.